How have you been doing? This is Lisbeth. Thank you for always coming back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for always watching the video, the videos that I upload. I appreciate so much. For the new subscribers, you just don't know what that meant to me. I'm so humbled by the subscription and I still pray that you take me to a journey of 1,000 subscribers. In case you are new here, you are welcome. Feel loved and feel at home. Guys, Guys, I'm on my way to the Shamba. Uh, remember in my introduction video, I told you that I had planted some maize and some potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah, and this evening, I want to go and see how the potatoes are doing, whether the Shamba is so overgrown with weeds, yeah, whether the weeds are so much on the Shamba or it's doing so well because some um, Two weeks ago, I had requested the shamba boy to come and remove the weed. So I just want to make sure whether it's doing fine, whether I expect some good harvest, average harvest or no harvest. You know, with farming, you don't anticipate. It is the weather that takes us through. And as you can see, it's chilly. Yeah, it's very chilly. You guys are already there. These are the neighboring shamba. You can see the maize is doing well already having the maize we are only waiting for it we can even start roasting by the way and then we have cassava right here yeah cassava they are doing well so the weather is good it is very favorable for the season yeah in fact the right now the crops only need some rain and then they'll be doing much better guys here is is the shamba here are the, the potatoes it is not as clean as i expected since it was weeded some two weeks ago but as you can see the weeds are just too much but i can't complain so much because the, you know when it's raining too much and the weathers are very cold and chilly then the grass grows very fast the weeds grow very fast but anyway as you can see um, if i see such type of flower they at least the leaves are at least hmm, i see some hops guys you see it's a big shamba yes but okay the stones you know i already told you i come from a rocky rocky village and when you watch my videos you'll find that most of the places that i visit are so rocky <laughs> even the shamba guys eh? the shamba is as, as rocky but we, we just have to weed uh, dig next to the rocks yeah and plant the crops yeah 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 guys these layers that you see we have to dig the are they called trenches yeah side by side this is because when the it rains then the water flows next to there so we put this here the bedding of the sweet potatoes and then now we put the trenches side by side so that when it rains the water runs through the trenches outside waterways so the water passes through these ways the sideways that's why we put it there guys and you know when we are weeding we take all the soil back back to the next to the sweet potatoes next to the crops yeah they don't need to be so like they they must have a lot of soil so you must fill the soil for them to make well potatoes thrive well in soil and not so much rainfall not so much sunshine but yeah the weather must be good like this time round we thank god that the weather has been good guys i'm so happy and next when we come to harvest the potatoes trust me trust the process we'll be here together digging the potatoes yeah here guys there was nothing because the the ground was so hard when i was uh, plowing the shamba and 
and as you can see we also have rocks right here that have been covered by the bushes all these bushes are covering rocks right here and it's through this part to the end there guys next to the that house so i i had to let this part go as west beach i did it last year and more potatoes and as you can see guys just under this tree the potatoes here have, the crops have not done well so guys these are the shade the shade made it impossible you see like the distance between a crop and another crop and another crop is just too much it's because of the shade which means the sunlight was not reaching well to the ground so this place never made any crops in a good way this is another part of rocks guys you cannot plant on rocks so this part where i always made but as they say wastage like when you lose eh, something when a, a one door closes another one opens so i'm sure when this time i used this bad shamba I'm, I'm sure next time i'll get a better better shamba to plant my crops because i'm a good farmer the only thing that fails me sometimes is the environment yeah guys you can see some maize um, on the shamba at least a single maize <laughs> single single from a distance this is because uh, last season i had planted maize uh, on this farm so when you harvest the maize definitely the some seeds will drop on the ground and they will grow however much you know they will just grow so these ones popping out of the shamba are the ones that dropped while harvesting and they just grew on their own we have another one here yeah they are just several and you know we are going to get the maize for roasting roasted maize these ones are for roasting. Yeah, guys, you see, this part is very clean. Huh? Yeah, at least it was just withered the other way, the other day. Yeah, it's clean. At least there are no so many weeds. Yeah, guys, and I'm lucky to meet a friend, a caretaker of the Shamba, a friend, Yusa, right here with me. Yusa, yes, my name. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, how is your evening? Yes, she was fine. Yeah, I see you have done a good work. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so so happy. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but there is. Are you on YouTube? Yeah. And they call you? Yusa. Yeah, guys, he's Yusa on YouTube. You can go check his channel, subscribe to him, comment and share love to him right here in Africa. Yeah. Yusa, yes. how about the other part up there? It's not so clean. Do you think we can weed it again? Yeah, so I'm, I'm with it on Kesho. Oh, and tomorrow, yeah. And yeah. tomorrow. And then, and then, so, so, so guys he's saying tomorrow he is going to repeat the upper part that you saw was so weedy yeah he's saying tomorrow that is the work that he's going to do yeah. to weed that part and then he's going to finish the day after tomorrow yeah as i said earlier guys kindly go check his channel and comment to him show him love yeah you sir yes. what do you think about his work is it so hard or it's just normal okay it is hard but uh, you know a man is a man is a man, a man, is a man. <laughs> you, you strain and then to get something yeah 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 you have to strain yeah. to find something to eat yeah. as a man huh? as a man yeah. yeah guys you see he's an african man and as african men huh? We have to use our energy yeah. so that we can eat. Yeah. yeah, and one of the ways to exhaust our energies is by doing shamba work. Yeah, you sir, yes. apart from this shamba, mm. do you do also some other works? Yeah, I'm doing some other works. Mm -hmm. 
from Gosese to mm. yeah. Which work, apart from weeding, he brings mm. something like maize, like mm. beans. Mm. Yeah. So you are a good farmer. Yeah. Yeah, guys, Yusa is a good farmer. He plants maize and beans. You can come here and test the mixture of maize and beans from his farm. Yeah, we welcome. Call, yeah, welcome all of you and test. We call it Gideri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Mus Yusa, thank you so much yes. for doing the great work. Mm -hmm. I will visit tomorrow mm -hmm. and see whether you will weed this part again. Okay, so welcome. So that we can get better yields. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, bye, Luca. Bye. Yeah. Okay, guys, so tomorrow we'll be re re weeding this patch right up here. And I'm sure, guys, at the end of the season, we are going to harvest to get some good yield, yeah? some enough potatoes to make you guys. Biscuits. I know you love biscuits over there and guess what? We don't eat all these potatoes. <laughs> Some of them we give them out, we sell them and then they make biscuits. Yeah, so like this one is commercial. It is not for subsistence use because it is just too much because I cannot eat all these potatoes from this end to the other end. So we just eat a few, we boil. Next time I come to harvest, I'll show you how to boil how to prepare the sweet sweet potatoes just like their name called them sweet potatoes and then the rest will be selling them to the millers to make for you guys biscuits right over there otherwise guys let's meet in my next video kindly remember to subscribe share and show love bye for now